How to write a research proposal? While writing a dissertation, a very big problem comes to students which is research proposals because some students don't know how to write a research proposal. In that case, students seek dissertation writing survey. Let's know first, what is a research proposal? An organized document outlining a planned research effort is called a research proposal. Proposals typically look for funding for the study. A research proposal asks for funding to support the planned study. It is significant because it explains one main title of abstract the title of a research needs to be accurate and precise the title of the research should depict the reason for doing the research the abstract of the research has to be written in last and should contain the objective and two introduction most of the students don't know how to write the dissertation introduction while making their research proposal which is the very first topic of your research proposal and includes a hint of the entire research Three aims, see objective. The aims and objectives of the research include the main goals and reasons for doing the particular research on a topic. Objectives state the main output that is to be fulfilled by conducting the research. Four, hypothesis. Hypothesis represents an if-then situation of a conducted research. Hypothesis is the process of an outcome of a proposed research question. Five, background. Any kind of research requires a background of the study and it is important to provide a brief context of the entire research report. 6. Methodology Methodology, also known as research methodology, is the type of data you are using to answer the question asked in the research, and the methodology of research should be relevant. 7. Literature Review Writing a literature review is an important part of the research proposal which tells the gaps present in the research papers that are already published. A person should know how to write a dissertation literature review proper. 8. Resources. This point includes the sources of your information which you have borrowed or taken from different places. 9. Expected outcomes. This part includes the possible results and impact your study is going to have on society. This states how viable your research is and if the outcomes are going to benefit anyone. 10. References. References are very important for any research report as it includes all those articles and their writer's information from whom you have taken inspiration and help. 11. Appendices. Appendices are known as all the figures and tables that have been added in the research, and they are to be mentioned as appendix in the table of content.